Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Kardec Radio. Here we are in one more special program. It's almost like break news because we are releasing the latest issue of the Spiritist Magazine. The Spiritist Magazine is this beautiful periodical that we have been working upon for the last 12 years. And this is the fifth first, 51st issue of the magazine. And you can find this magazine at our website and our app. So we're going to talk to you about the latest issue and you're welcome to join us. All right. Hello, RK. Welcome here. So friends, if you want to read the Spiritist magazine, we first ask why. Right, Carol Correa, one of our main collaborators with the Spiritist magazine. So, friends, think about it. Why a magazine? Well, let's go back to Kardec's time. This Saturday, which is October 3rd, Kardec would have completed 216 years. And we are just saying this because we celebrate a life that left uh, an amazing legacy and inspiration for us. Kardec himself, when he published the Spirit's Book in 1857, the year after, on January 1st, 1858, he published the Spiritist magazine, the Hivi Spirit. What was the, the idea behind it? To make this information flow faster throughout, because it's a short periodic, it's not like a book. And people can quickly browse and glance at it. Plus, it's not only for the dissemination. It was the way in which he could talk monthly. Yes, the Revis Pihit was monthly. And he was there. Hello, Altino Majesti. A big hug to you. It's good to have you here. I love your studies on Emmanuel and all of his novels. A big hug to you, Altino. So, friends, remember Kardec. When he started the magazine, the goal was also to create, like science, any science, we have periodicals where we share the findings and people can exchange ideas, read, send letters, and he would communicate monthly, frequently with the public. Phenomenal. Did it work at Kardec's time? Oh, it did. He spent 12 years, month to month, working as the editor-in-chief by himself. He didn't have a material team besides his wife, of course, Amélie Boudet, but he had a team in the spiritual plane, the mediums. He was a committed scientist of the beyond, no doubt about it. We can't forget that spiritism is a moral science. We have the findings. We publish. As a scientist myself, I identify clearly in Kardec's methodology a beautiful scientific pathway. Nowadays, we as spiritists, yes, we embrace the teachings through its religiousness, through its philosophical aspects, but the put together, the wrap up is scientific. It's rational. We need reasoning to be humans. And the magazine comes now in English. It's been 12 years that we've been having the honor to coordinate these efforts. Yes, it's a lot of work, but we don't even do it like Kardec did. We do it every three months. So the Spiritist magazine, and I'm going to share the screen. Just so you see our beautiful magazine right here. You can see that this magazine can be found in two ways. You can go to our website, first and foremost. Go to our website, spiritismagazine.org. Right, Lu Nicoliello, big hug to you. Spiritismagazine.org. You go there. And what are we going to find? Ooh la la, look at this. You can browse 
through the 51 issues. If you click, you can start reading by going here to the PDF if you want. Go to the link and it's going to open the link and you can start reading the magazine just the way it is. Beautiful. And I'm going to talk about the issue in a minute. And as you can see here, this beautiful magazine. Okay, hold on a second. As you can see, brings to us an opportunity to read about many of the aspects of the spirit is science. Now, hold on. What if you want to read it in an app? Go back. Right here. Our apps. You can go to the app store and download it for free. Now, let's go to the app. Huh? Here's my phone. I'm going to show it to you. Look, my phone. Right here. Spiritus Magazine. Click. Open. It's right there. See, it's downloading. And you can click on it. Let's see the last issue. And you can flip the pages. It opens in iPads, everywhere. You can zoom in and out, read it. You can go to the website. And if you want the hard copy, easy. You want to see how? I'll show you how. If you want the hard copy, it's easy. You just go to the website, okay? And when you click on the magazine, it goes straight to our partner, MagCloud. MagCloud, you go here, you buy, they deliver at your door. Is that it? Oh, yes, it is. That's it. So you have several options. One, you can read on our website on PDF. You can read on MagCloud on digital form because you see the digital form is free. You can also read in the app, right? And you can have the magazine for actually at home for only $11. What do we get? Nothing. The partner gets everything because they have the hard, the hard work of printing it out. But we offer to you this beautiful treasure. What is in the latest issue of the magazine? You want to see it, right? Let's go. Let's see the latest issue of the magazine. Let me just double check if what you're seeing is what I am seeing. Here, here we are. One second. I'm just double checking. Yes. And then you can go straight. Okay. All right, let me see if it's happening here. Uh oh. Yeah, now you can see what I'm seeing here, right? And here is it, it is. This magazine, this issue, is all about the pandemic, but much more than that. It's about the chaos, emotional, spiritual, and our spiritual aid kit right all right we need guidance right cesar lucio it's a joy to be here with you a big hug to you right carol correa i agree with you it is a blessing to have this magazine like at cardex time right cesar lucio it's an amazing work of the spirit i agree with you friends so let me tell you a little bit I would encourage you, we would encourage you to read it because this issue brings to us unique articles. You know that the Spiritist literature is mostly in Portuguese. So the magazine in English comes to share. Half of its articles are in translation of books that are not yet published in English, okay? several major books. Half of it, articles from writers, spiritists, thinkers of the current times. So it's kind of a balance. So you go there, 
Right, Adeli? What a joy to have you here. You got the app? Wonderful. Read it. Share it. There are so many issues. And I tell you, it's a treasure. It's a treasure because the Spiritist literature is a treasure for us. Let's browse through the magazine. You go there. It's about nature, yes, because look at what's happening to our planet. The spirits that guide this magazine in the spiritual plane, they said, Manisa, we need to raise awareness of the need to respect nature. Do we respect nature? We need to read about it. And here you're going to find on the one of the pages of the magazine, right off the bat, you're going to find Andre Lewis from the book Spirit is Conduct. You're going to find his own summary about our attitude, attitude regarding nature. And you are going to find an article by Dr. Diaz da Cruz through Chico Xavier regarding the therapeutics of prayer. What do we need nowadays more than prayer? Good actions, right? It's a balance. Good actions and prayer right? And here he talks about how powerful prayer is, how important it is. I don't think we know enough. We don't think we spiritists use this tool of prayer enough. We study much, but we probably should revisit what prayer is all about and dedicate ourselves to the new understanding of prayer. So you see, I'm zooming in and we can hear, I'm just going to read this. Let us not forget that we have in prayer our highest source of power because it facilitates our access to the higher power of life. There you go. One more reason to read this beautiful article by Dr. Diaz da Cruz, Cruz from the book Psychophonic Instructions. And here we have an article written by Umberto Verdini from Austria, he comes to us to read this beautiful, to write this beautiful take on COVID-19 pandemic, personal experiences, experiences in Europe, and his awareness that probably we're not taking the most of it. It's just phenomenal. And then we have Ed Kardekstein at the Review Spirit. In this column, we have a short but very inspirational article by the spirit Abelard through the medium Mr. Rose at Kardec Spiritist Magazine. We're going to see, listen to this. God is love and freedom. It is through love and freedom that the spirit draws near God. Wow. Wow. I breathe in and out. It's not only about reasoning. It's now the alignments of the heart and the mind. And then I feel it. Right? I know, Altino. I tell you, it's worthwhile. You let me know later. Let us know, okay? Right, Silvio Otero, a big hug to you, my friend. So here we have this wonderful article at Kardec's time, so current, from Kardec's magazine in 1860. And then later, a beautiful one from a book that is not yet in English, Harvest of Light. This book, written by Emmanuel through Chico Xavier, in this chapter talks about law and life. It's not about law and order. It's law and life. Listen to this. He says, you shall not kill, says the law. The text does not refer, however, only to the lives of the fellow beings. And now he outlines other ways in which we may be killing people without noticing. Mamma mia, we need to read this because it's all about complying with the law of love from God to us. You see, more reasons to read. And then a wonderful, inspirational, deep text, The Good Teeth. Thief, thief, sorry, Thief. The Good Thief by Humberto de Campos through Chico Xavier from the book Good News. 
This book is coming about, hopefully before December, we hope, published by the Fab Publisher. And this book has many of its articles in the Spiritist magazine. And now we're publishing this one. It's wonderful. Question to you. Do you really believe in everything Jesus proposed? Do you feel it? Is it a proposal to you? Because Thomas, the disciple, he was a disciple, but he doubted. He had his doubts. And in this chapter, Jesus shows to us this dialogue between Thomas that represents this doubtful person inside of us. Verses at the end of the chapter. Read it. At the cross. The thief who turns to Jesus and says, I believe in you. When you get there, please don't forget about me. What about you? When a loved one discarnates, you think the world is ended? Has ended? Do you, when you lose a job or has problems, do you think it's the end of the world? Or like the good thief, do you turn to Jesus and say, I trust in you. I know you were given by God to guide us on earth. Please take care of me. Do you? Read it, friends. Read it. It's a deep encounter. I agree with you, Altino. Good news is a gem. And it's in English. You know, Altino, I'll tell you the story. In 2012, we started the translation. We spent three years with a whole team here at the Spirit Side of Virginia working on it. People who are, have been working with translations, specialists in the language, the English language. 2016, we turned it to the Brazilian Spiritist Federation. And this year, finally, they were able to restore their publisher and they are going back to track. We are revising the final pages, hoping that pretty soon this book is going to be available to everyone. So here is a beautiful chapter for all of us, an opportunity to really enrich our lives. It's the master that comes back to us vividly because the description of Humberto de Campos shows to us the master Jesus is not a master of words. It's a master of nonverbal lessons. We need to absorb this nonverbal lessons. Read it and enjoy. Now, we also have here our amazing doctor, professor Eurípides Barçanufo, through Corina Novellino, many decades ago, wrote messages. She psychographed these messages by Euripides Barsanufo, and this one talks about the importance of not creating fake news. We're living in a world of lots of chaos. People daring to lie nonstop, creating slanders, fake news. Overnight, what happens to us when we do this? Should we refrain from doing this? Oh, please, read Professor Lipitz Barsanufo's words here and let's embrace this task of being committed to the truth, okay? Now, next, May May, Mamma Mia, it's like a treasure, huh? This magazine is like a treasure. May May, peace and light, what do we need? She brings to us here. You see, this message were was written decades ago, way before what's happening now. And look how she begins this message. Difficult days we cross on earth, you hear. And you review what you know. The news reports the increasing antagonism among society. If you read this message, it sounds like she's writing about the current times. Why? Because... These spirits don't write for the present time alone. They write 
for immortal times. From now to immortality, we're going to face challenges, difficulties, etc. Generations after generations. What do we need to do? I will just give you a teaser. Huh? She says, silence yourself and assist. <gasps> what does that mean? Read it and you'll find out. Then next, a gem, as Altino Majeshi says, another one. Now, from the book, Psychophonic Instructions, Guilhom Ribeiro, through Chico Xavier, this was the first message received after the discarnation of Guilhom Ribeiro. For those who don't know, Guilhom Ribeiro was president of the Brazilian Spiritist Federation. He translated Spiritist books from French to Portuguese, and did many good deeds. And we'll tell you, he has a particular message today that may be very beneficial for us to cross these next three months of the year 2020 and forever. But especially now, we need to watch and pray. And he says something particular I want to highlight. We want to highlight to you. He says, let us therefore seek our place as apprentices and servants. Mm. What does that mean? Let's read it and find out. Because many of us, we sit on a chair of knowledge that we don't have. And we still need to consider ourselves as apprentices and servants of God. Are we doing that already? We're not sure. We're not sure because usually... We find ourselves as the Lord of our lives and God as the servant of us. Very tricky. Now, let's move forward. Now, the cover article by William S. This collaborator of the Spiritist magazine comes to us to talk about in poetry. Poetry, raging fires in the West. Hatred speeches in the East. Misery in the South, pride in the North. Selfishness in the pandemic, fake news everywhere. Vanity still endemic, inequalities in the air. Forests disappeared, seas polluted, children affected, parents disillusioned. Blue water planet, let us revive thee. Selflessness a must, sincerity a gift. Humility a trust, love the lift. Blessed be the peacemakers, for they shall inherit the earth, a pacified blue water planet with Christ. Friends, we need to read. We need to read, instruct ourselves. Emmanuel says in the book, Thought in Life, without instruction, we cannot evolve. It's our responsibility to study. And the magazine comes here to you to boost our study, to understand how as Joana de Angelis says here through Divaldo Franco, from a book that is out of print after the storm. This comes to us, pollution and psychosphere. Are we contributing with the cleanliness of the spiritual atmosphere of the earth? Are we vibrating clean? We talk about the environment, global warming, but are we adding to the fire of hatred and rage? Or are we bringing coolness, peace, harmony? Right? I agree with you. We agree with you, RK. Today we read on Cortex Genesis. We read chapter 18. The time has come and it seems like it was written last month. Just amazing. We agree with you. How current. Friends, think about it. Do you think the good spirits who know more than us didn't have a vision for the future? Like this magazine. It's not written only for us today. It's going to stay for immortality because this is like not like Vogue magazine, fashion magazine that comes and goes. This is about the immortal laws of life. So you can read the Spiritist magazine today, a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, it's still going to pertain to the immortal laws of God. All right? And here we have more for us. 
This article is from a book written by Amalia Domingo Soler, the Spanish medium. This book is not in it in English, and it talks about cases of previous lives. It's called in, in Spanish, Hechos que Prueban. You can find it on PDF. In Portuguese, it was translated Reencarnação e Vida. And then in English, we have programs at Kardec Radio, and we have the Spiritist Magazine publishing its articles one by one. And this is about a grandmother that used to obsess people in her family. Believe it or not, do you believe in it? No? Read it. You see, it's a real case. Real case. And if it's not enough, Andrea Luis comes back to us. And through Chico Xavier reminds us about the critical times we're living, how important it is to master our words. As he says here, again, huh? let us heed the silence where fraternal aid is not possible. Let us seek to feel with Jesus. Let us not forget that the tongue speaks to humanity and that the heart speaks to God. Friends, we need to use this magazine to coach our minds, to coach our hearts, to propose exercises for our daily life. Very therapeutic. It's an opportunity that we are having to evolve. If we have ears to hear and eyes to see, right? And then comes the poet of the beyond, Casimiro Cunha, from the book Drops of Light, a book that was translated, is under revision. We have it discussed at Kardec Radio, and it's there in all of our platforms for everyone who wants chapter by chapter, and this one is about the seeds of the path. For those who doubt that a minor action can be the first seed to big things, read this article. How important it is to look for simplicity. He says here, look for simplicity. Do not waste your luck. For now you have not arrived to the grave question of death. Yeah, these are not poems to entertain. These are poems to instruct to educate us. And then we are going to find Iris Sinotti. Iris Sinotti is a psychologist, spirited psychologist from Brazil, who has been leading with her husband, Claudio Sinotti, articles about and courses about Joana de Angelis' teachings. She wrote this article about the voice of the heart in times of renewal. Don't we have to listen to our hearts? It's almost like a song. Huh? I can almost hear like, listen to your heart, right? Let us listen to our hearts. Why not? The reasoning says, yes, heart, I'm listening to you. Because brain and heart, as a neuroscientist myself, I tell you, brain and heart must be in sync or we go off track. And for those who are working as spiritists around the clock during this pandemic, we need reference, we need guidance, as we said in our editorial guide posts for the current times. And this talks about what spiritists are all about. Teaser, huh? I'm gonna give you a teaser. Let's give you a teaser. We will. It says, oops, spiritists are those servants of the gospel who in the field of observation read everything, hear everything, see everything, analyze everything. And what else? Read it. What else? What we as spiritists must do? Because Chico Xavier is an example of it. He's the model of spiritism besides Kardec, Bezerra de Menezes, Euripides Barsanufo and many others. Did you know that Chico Xavier exuded perfume? Here's a beautiful story by Nina Galvis, who knew him personally about these features of his mediumship. 
of his loving heart. And finally, to wrap up the magazine, we have this cartoon story by Luis Ruiz Rivas. Directly to your kids. The magazine is also for teens. It's also for children. So the magazine comes to us telling about events that are coming up that passed and major events that are about to come in the near future. So this is in a glance what we have here, the treasure for you. We hope that this can be for you, nourishment for your soul. We hope that this issue of the magazine is a loving hug in your life that brings you encouragement, hope, inspiration, strength, and that you can be a servant of God wherever you are, knowing what we're doing and joining forces with the team of the good on earth. All right. Thank you, Carol Correa. Thank you, friends, for joining us today. If you have any question, please write to us. Oh, yes, yeah, spiritismagazine at gmail.com. Very easy. Spiritismagazine at gmail.com. For people who want to write articles to the Spiritist Magazine, send your articles to the Spiritist Magazine. We have a team that evaluates. We give you feedback and we publish it. Of course, you are allowed to partake. You can participate and help. Just write to us at spiritistmagazine at gmail.com. Right. Thank you, Maria. Big hug to you. Thank you, Justin. A big hug to you. And let's stay tuned, friends, because here at Cardiac Radio, there's always more. Don't go away. And let me tell you, this Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, stay tuned because there is a major event coming sponsored by the British Union of Spiritist Societies. Did you know about it? Yes. Thank you, RK. A big hug to you. I'm going to show it to you before we wrap up. Yes, I'm going to show to you the event. We hope that you connect because this Saturday at 10 a.m., there is a major event pub being sponsored by the British Union of Spiritist Society. It's Kardec's birthday and the celebration of his birthday in grand style working. Dr. Mick Collins is going to talk about Young and Kardec, spiritual evolution and the co-creation of an improved future, followed by Dr. Alexander Moreira Meida, Kardec investigating spiritual experiences. It's going to be moderated by Dr. Natalie Tolbert and... Stay tuned because there's so much more here for us. Let's stay connected. A big hug. And until next time. Bye, friends.